Hi, my name's Amy. I'm a seventh grade STEM teacher, and I want to talk to you about how I use SimCity EDU in my classroom. I teach over 300 STEM students a year, and this is my third rotation with SimCity EDU. GlassLabGames.org provides a wonderful and easy platform in which I can log in and go ahead and get my classroom codes. Uh, once I get my classroom codes generated, I go ahead and post those on the board. When the students come into the classroom, they uh, they register with GlassLabGames.org. They jump in. If you are using Edmodo in the class, or if the students are familiar with Edmodo, it's an, e it's an easy process. In my classroom, I use SimCity EDU as a precursor into some other game-based learning. And so once they get into the game, it only takes me about five minutes to show them around the screen. One thing that I absolutely love about SimCity EDU is because it's mission-based, the end goals are the same for all my students. There are three objectives in which every student needs to achieve to receive an A in my classroom. However, the pathway in which they achieve that A is going to be different for each and every one of them. So they kind of have this room to experiment and to try different things. And every time they play it, they're going to learn something new. At the end of the day, I go ahead and I look at all their stars and to see where each one of my students achieved. If a majority of my students only achieve one star on a level, then I know that I need to start there. If a lot of them have received three stars on a level, then I know that you know we have passed that level and we can move on. When it comes to standards in my classroom and my expectations, every one of my students is to achieve three stars on each level before they can progress onto the next mission. They're going to learn something each time they play the level, even if they end up playing it 20 times. One of my expectations is and when I grade it, I use an ABC level, uh, C being that they maintain and won the main objective that was given to them and they will progress to a B once they get that other objective. So truly achieving an A would be going above and beyond what was asked of them and doing all three objectives that was given.